Welcome back to The Local View with Ted Shu. Today's show is about iScore, a web-based tool designed to revolutionize music learning. And before the break, we were talking about how iScore was developed. And in the second half of the show, we're going to have a, a demonstration of iScore uh, with Jody Campo, Kingston Music uh, uh, piano teacher, and her student, Irina Garisma. So uh, Jody, I'll let you take it away and show us how uh, iScore has worked. Okay, great. Well, first, Irina is going to speak about her home page, um, which is like a social networking page that she created all on her own, and they can choose pictures that they want and, and captions they want, so I'll let Irina explain it. And uh, Irina, maybe you could start with your general goals there in the center and tell us about those. Okay. Those general goals are long-term goals I plan to do. So this year I'm doing a grade three exam, and I'm preparing for that exam with a to-do list, which is on the, there. Um, the to-do list is more about my pieces and what I want to work on with my specific pieces of music. The notes and posts, which are next to the general goals, let me communicate with my piano teacher before having to wait the whole week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me talk to her. I can choose a picture. I can upload a picture from the computer, or I can um, choose one they have there. I also like the comments. You can write whatever you want in whatever font you want. Mm -hmm. And when someone goes on it, they see that, and it's fun. It gets me excited. Good. We want you to be excited when you practice. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is we're going to pretend that you've had a lesson with Jody, and you had a great lesson, and on your to-do list it says minuet in G major, articulation and add the dynamics. So you've gone home, trot, 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 you're at home now, and you're at your piano, and some kind person in your house, maybe your mother, um, is filming this for you. And would you do it the first time that you've played it, or would you practice it a bit first before you filmed it? I would usually practice it a bit first, and maybe record it a few times. Wait before to doing it? Okay. Good. So we'll just do, we'll, we'll pretend I'm going to do this for you, and in fact I will do it for you, and we'll play just a little bit to give people an idea of what it would be like. And I'm using a smartphone to do this because it's something that's available um, for many students in their households. Okay. Anytime. quick action cameras, fast forward, whatever you call that, and pretend that we have, which we did just before the show, uploaded this now into Irina's portfolio. So now I've taken this to the doing page, which comes after the planning, and in the doing page, that video is waiting to be played. And I'm going to play the first five seconds. There it is, Minuet and G. So this gives Irina a recording, but there's some magical piece as well, and Jody, you can take over with that part. Okay, so um, in Irina's to-do list from me for the week, I may have suggested that she try recording the minuet for me. And so at home, I, I would say to her, her lessons are on Wednesday, so I may say, have a goal that by Saturday you would upload a recording of, um, of your piece. So on Saturday or Sunday, I will go on to iScore, and I will go under sharing. So right from my home, I will go to what has been shared with me, and I see Irina's work. And I can go right to her home page. So this would be the same home page that you just saw a moment ago. So I can view that. I can leave little notes to her. We were communicating last night about preparing for today, what we should wear, and all of that kind. So all of those are listed here. And then I will go to work. I will go to her menuet in G. 
to the doing, and then that video will be right here. And so now as her teacher, I can listen to this at home. Then my favorite part of the program is that if I hear something that I, I want to uh, compliment or maybe have her work on something, uh, change a rhythm, add in articulation, add in dynamics, I can stop it specifically at the exact moment that I would like her to do that and I can annotate it. So um, I may go into this spot in her piece I can put down beautiful articulation of the left hand. Exactly what we worked on in the lesson. Well done. So we're pretending that this happens on a Sunday, and the lesson is on a Wednesday. Let's say Sunday morning. Sure. And then what happens Sunday afternoon in the best world? In the best world, Irina comes to her computer on Sunday afternoon, and she opens up Minuet in G, and she pulls down that video again, and sure enough, Somebody named Jay Compo, that would be Jody Compo, has written a comment that says, Beautiful articulation of the left hand. <laughs> exactly <laughs> what we worked on in the lesson. Yeah. Well done. So imagine that this didn't happen two feet apart from one another, but two miles or 20 miles. So you were talking about the rural, 200 miles apart from each other. So this way, Jody can give. Arena the feedback during the week and mm -hmm. before the lesson. And as I stated earlier, um, what I've noticed is that Arena is now uh, making comments on her own pieces. So once she does a recording, she ha she can make the comments, and then I can comment back on that as well. And it really only takes a few minutes for me to check in and uh, and see if if the student has made those comments, and for them to check in to see if I've made them back. And so we have a running conversation about the piece which keeps her engaged for the week and improves her practicing. Irina, do your parents look at your page and see what you're doing? Um, usually they don't. They just help me with the recordings. And uh, the page just really keeps me motivated to want to finish my pieces and get them really nice for my exams and to play them for my parents. Do you have friends uh, whose pages you look at? Um. Not really. I haven't really been going with my peers yet. I haven't started with that. I've mostly been communicating with my teacher only. But I hope to really start getting to talk to my peers in piano and start sharing videos with them too. Great. <laughs> okay. I wanted to draw everybody's attention to one last thing before we leave um, Irina's homepage, which is one of her, uh, her goals was to prepare for the grade three exam. But there's another really interesting goal here that I think speaks to what technology can do for us as music teachers and music students. Do you want to read that last goal, which sure. I love? <laughs> um, it says, create a recital to Skype to my family in Venezuela. So most of my family does live in Venezuela and they love to hear me play piano but it's really hard for me to com communicate with them. So through this, through iSchool I can practice my pieces and really learn them so I can go on Skype and play them for them. And it really makes me happy to see them and <laughs> play wow. for them. Uh, have you, how many students, uh, Jody, are you using iSquare with you? I have about 12 on there right uh -huh. now. I would say about um, six of them are using it effectively and consistently. Mm -hmm. And um, 
hoping to just grow with that. I have younger students that I'm sort of prepping now to, to get them used to using this, and I have them call me during the week. So they aren't necessarily, they don't necessarily have access to a computer. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm getting them into the habit of communicating with me partway through the week by having them call me. Okay. And this is not limited to, to piano at all. No. No, and in fact, when we developed the tool, we worked with a lot of teacher advisors like Jody, and the instruments included piano, voice, guitar. Um, we had some percussion teachers, so a, a whole range of um, genres and music. Mm -hmm. And not just classical and conservatory-based music either. We had kids composing and improvising with garage band and posting those back and forth, so it supports any kind of musical exploration. Great. Great. Well, uh, Jody and uh, Nina and Irina, thank you very much uh, for, for being on the show this month. Really appreciate you uh, taking the time to tell us about high score. Our pleasure. Um, you know, we often do age-old things in, in new ways, and, and uh, I know that listening to music has already uh, been radically transformed by the internet, and today's music student listens to a lot more. Great, much greater variety of music than music students ever did before before internet, and so uh, the question that arises: Can teaching and learning music be transformed by by internet as well? I'm really excited that uh, our federal government, through the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council, is asking that question: What should <laughs> what should I score do to, to change how how we teach and learn music? So it's very exciting, uh, okay. Professor Ubinus. I wish you all the best in, in you. your research. I'm looking forward to to uh, seeing that, and, and I wish all the best to music teachers like you, Jody, and students like you, Irina, as you use this new tool and, and discover how it can be used and, and how best use can be made of, of the new tool. So it's very exciting. I want to thank you very much for being on The Local View with Ted Shu, and I hope that you'll join me next month uh, on the next Local View with Ted Shu. I'm Ted Shu, your Member of Parliament for Kingston and the Islands, and thanks very much for watching.